there's usually some confusion about the the amateur package with throwing the ball and the string so wanted to give you a quick demonstration so on the hole you will only write down the number for how many times you swing a golf club so if for example this is a par three and you hit off the tee and you land your ball right there you are hitting one you then have the ability, if you'd like, to either hit again with the golf club, which would be two, or you could pick the ball up and each player, one time each round, has the ability to throw the ball closer to the hole. In this particular case, my team is going to throw near the hole. Now, I've only hit the ball once with a golf club, so we are lying there in one. Now, we could go up here, we could choose to hit it in with the golf club, which would again be two, because I've hit the golf ball twice with a golf club, or you have the ability to use the string to cut off the remaining distance and you're in the hole. And again, because we've only hit the ball one time in that particular instance, the tee shot, we threw it here, and then we used the string, that would only be one shot because you hit it with a club once. Every time you hit it with a club, you add one. So hopefully that sets the record straight there. You throw away this part of the string and you have this much remaining for the rest of the round. All right, so that's a little golfing 101 on the golfing chamber event. Uh, we, we really hope to see you out here on Monday. Hopefully the weather cooperates, um, but we're looking for uh, seeing all your uh, bright and shiny faces and uh, take care.